Bop, here we are. Am versus Swomi, Finland, also known as. And we've got Water Nomad again. And Max is playing as the Bengalis here, and he's way off in Narnia. And this is where Max loves to be. He's also got a dock in the center here. So he's not going to be that far away with his uh, galley production or demo production or fire galley production or whatever he goes for. What was the name of that song? It was Every Time We Touch by Cascada. That's what the name was. Uh, but his eco is going to be very far away. So he can keep this safe. He's also found himself a gold and a wood line right next to each other. He's trying to get that TC up as quickly as possible. Valesa playing as the Vikings over on this side. And he's got himself a decent TC. A little bit far away from the gold, though, which could be a concern. Right? If ships come in here. Likely will try and wall similar to what Nikov did in that last game. And secure this area if he can. Heart. Last player to get the TC up with Armenians is going to be in the center. And Leary will be... Oh, look at these fish. Oh, so efficient. Oh, beautiful. Leary will be over here on the side with the Koreans. Now, I wouldn't be surprised with Max being so far away to see some sort of FC attempt here from him. You get four additional villagers if you try for that. Your eco is pretty far from your opponents. And if you get to Castle Age faster, um, you can go immediately into War Galley upgrade, and then fire ships will do quite nicely against just galleys. However, Armenian galleys should be a little bit better against fire ships than regular feudal galleys because they have that extra arrow coming out. And it also means that Valesa will probably be targeted. And he's going to be the first one on the way to Feudal Age. All right. Max. Pulling back his vills. Pulling back his fishing ships. And might be clicking up. So it's not going to be FC from him. It's going to be standard meta. Going to galleys. Bengali ships do heal over time. Which is extremely useful. Especially when you have a large mass of galleys. And a bunch of them are going to get weak. Right? Healing over time is beautiful. Why are we starting with this map? How is it chosen? It just says admin pick. I assume it's like the last map left from that specific category. I, I don't know exactly how the drafting works in this. I have a rough idea, but I can't give you the exact answer. Wall coming up from Hart in the center. He's quite a bit slower to the Feudal Age than Vilesa. Similar timing to Max. Leary, somewhere in between. And Leary is going for walls on this side, too. He goes for a second dock. Armenian Navy is Redonk. Also, the mule cart can be really nice here, right? Really, really nice. Good efficiency for Hart so far. Take a look at Res Gathered. Damn, dude. Leary has so much more. Holy. I think it's just... Because he was dropping off the res? I don't know. That's crazy. That's wild. It must have just been his fishing ships being so efficient here. Double bit axe. Coming in for Lyrian Heart. Galley's on the way from all of the players here. So galleys are going to try and make their way in. Vilesa going for another dock back here, which could be good. And, yeah, there's still a gap here, so... <laughs> uh, he's just going to go right past this wall. However, the wall will be useful for forcing these galleys into an area where you can collapse on them. Hart now getting loom. Hart going for galleys of his own. And these galleys will be a little bit stuck. Water Buffalo being sniped down. Valesa will try and get any value that he can this side. Max bringing up his galleys behind this. And Valesa is the one that gets the wall off on this side. So he's going to be fishing over here. Does see this villager. I don't know if he fully notices her. Let's see where this galley goes. Yeah. And Hart has gone for a gate. 
really beautiful stuff there. There is a hole, still. And there's still a vill here. If I'm heart, I make a dock here. And then you know what I want heart to do after that. Demo. Into the wood line. Boom, bop, bing. GG. Instead, Hart sends his villager over here. He's going to delete the wall. He's going to come through with the galleys. Remember, the galleys are firing two arrows per shot. For the Armenians. And he's repairing this galley with the villager. Trying to run away now. Meanwhile, on the other side, Leary chasing down the navy for Max. Elessa still being annoying with this galley, distracting a few ships. And Hart's deletion of the wall means that there's a area that Vilesa can come in through and access his eco. And Hart is very low on galley numbers right now. Only five. Meanwhile, on this side, Max... Taking out the galleys from Leary. And remember, Max's galleys heal over time. Fletching only in for Max so far. Fletching is not in for any of the other players. Vilesa just now starts researching it. Art still doesn't have it. Where is Hera? He couldn't he can't make the finals, so he's letting uh he's letting his teammates play it. I think. I'm not sure if he's gone traveling yet, but I know he's not gonna be able to to make it tomorrow, so. Or on Sunday. So he's going to let his uh, his teammates play. Get as much experience as possible. Is he going to Europe? I thought he was going to Chile. I, I saw something on Twitter. I can't remember. Hera had to poop. True. Alright. Max needs to come over here. We got Leary and we've got Hart. So far, Vilesa has done a wonderful job. Just keeping them stuck inside the base here. Leary has a lot of food in the bank. Has a bit of gold. Might be able to go up to Castle Age soon. But Max is now pushing in. And Max will have to retreat as Leary will need to focus fully on this. And it's going to be just Hart versus Vilesa on this side. Leary really wants to finish off this ship. It's going to be healing. He needs to finish it off. That thing will be back to full health in 10 minutes. Nice. He can take out that dock that's really annoying for Hart. I'm surprised Vilesa has such a huge advantage on the Navy this entire time. Heart start must have not been that great. I know the ships are cheaper for Vikings, but still, with the double projectile firing, you'd expect Heart to be doing a little bit better here, right? Only two kills total on that Navy. Only two kills for Valesa as well, I suppose. As all the players now trying to come over to this side, and Max finally does clear up that dock. Heart was coming forward to repair that. Now he's going to be down to one dock production, maybe? I think it's only one dock production for Hart. Yeah, he adds a second one now. That's rough. Castle Age is on the way for Vilesa. First one to hit the market. Leary following that, and he's trying to go up to Castle Age too. Hart is quite a ways away, and Max is almost there as well. I think, dude, I keep saying this, but I think it, it's what needs to happen. Similar to what Yo was doing in the previous game, Max needs to come make some forward docks and just send in like fires. It doesn't even have to be demos, just some fires. Once you get to Castle Age, you have all this space over here. But neither team wants to give up the military advantage. You don't want to spend resources on a what-if chance. Fuck you, Ryan. I what a battle. Units, 
pack sandbags around my bed. Zillip, thank you for the eight months. Zam, Zam, thank you for the 15. I think they know that Valessa is up first. I think Leary saw the market prices. They saw the score drop potentially. They know they need to, you know, start clearing this stuff before he can get the upgrades, but they're not going to be in time. Castle Age is going to come in here for Valessa. <clears throat> And they see Castle Age come in, and now Leary and Hart are both diving. They're going to try and take out as many ships as possible. Max is also here, though, helping out. War Galley upgrade is coming in. Bodkin Arrow upgrade is coming in. And that's about as many ships as they can find. Leary's in Castle Age now, so they'll retreat. Might be able to take out this market, which could be really solid. And have taken out quite a few ships. But still, Vilesa will get the upgrades first, and he's going to start pushing this back. And now Max is in the Castle Age. Full minute and a half before Hearts. Noble is six coming in. For Vilesa yet. And AM seemed to have the better Navy here initially. As Hart is doing a fairly good job microing his galleys, and Leary still keeping the galleys coming forward, but now the upgrades are in for Max, and they're going to start to push back. And Hart needs to wait for Castle Age to come in. Max just killing houses from Hart. Could be annoying. TC won't go down in time. They know he's probably on the way up to Castle Age, but they can't get that. So Castle Age will come in. And this is about as far as they go. What is Max doing over here? Nothing really. Just booming up. He's got a second TC. He's got the most villagers in the game because of Bengalis. However, Vilesa getting careening which is really early for making war galleys as Hart now goes for a fortified church to get that relic and to get some arrow fire on the ships. Nice pressure here from Max with a couple war galleys in behind. Hart can just move his uh, mule cart over here though. Yo, what's up Swanky? How's it going? Hart is sitting at 10 war galleys right now. That's simply not enough, right? Simply not enough. Leary going for a second TC. Do we have any on stone? Vilesa now sending six to stone. A castle here would go hard. Castle here would go incredibly hard. You know what also would go hard? Some fires over here. For Max. But they have the military advantage here. They don't want to throw it. Max getting horse collar. Max is walled up fully, almost fully on this side. Still fishing away comfortably. Gonna go for ballistics of his own. And we still don't have ballistics from Valesa. Ballistics from nobody this game. Max might be thinking about adding in some farms now pretty soon. This TC is dead soon. Like, the war galleys do so much damage to TCs. Hard is going to be forced to defend this, but he can't find an angle to do that. So he's going to be no TC gaming here in a second. And I think Max will just commit onto this. He should, anyway. Just commit onto it. Yeah, this should be Team Finland for sure. This should be their win. 100%. TC goes down. Hart doesn't even have a TC. War Galley's finally coming over here. Leary's got some War Galley's of his own to defend against it. There is a hole in the wall now, though. There's a hole in the wall. Fires. 
Careening is coming in for Max. Ballistics is coming in for Max. Fortified Church not doing all that much damage to the ships. And Hart will just now be building his second town center. How good would Portuguese caravels be here? Pretty good. Um, especially against war galleys stacked up like that. The problem with caravels is that they're almost completely countered by fires. Is it reasonable to go on water with one player full galley while the other goes full fire? It depends on the situation, right? Really depends on the situation. How many galleys your opponent has. In Feudal Age, no. Castle Age, maybe. This game's about to be done. Leary's trying to come out here and do damage against Max, but Max is looking very comfortable. Third TC going up now. 67 villagers for him. Be less as eco. I mean, ooh, it's really open if they get back in there. My man's got it. Oh, my man's got his waypoint set to. Why are we going to the back? He's going to switch on to military view to find his ships pretty soon. The waypoint has been set. The die has been cast. Oh, sorry. Did I mean back? Did I say back? I meant stern. He's going to the stern of his economy. They had such a good position. Imagine if he had like those eight ships forward. They still have a good position. Still going to be pushing in over from this side. Hart. Trying to find as many relics as he can. There's a relic down here. He's got two already. Maybe that makes the difference. Unlikely. Vilesa has found the ships. Perfect. Wonderful. He's found the ships. He almost has enough stone for a castle. And if they keep winning with the navy. Well. The castle will be very useful shortly. Ballistics is in from heart. Still double bolts coming out of these war galleys. But it's a lot more war galleys for Finland than there is for Aftermath right now. Right now, Aftermath's advantage is that they have all these buildings that Finland might be patrolling into. And they ate war galleys. This is why he was keeping them in reserve so he could send them back here. Potentially. Or maybe support a forward castle. He's just going to send him to the back of Hearts Eco. And Max will need to retreat. So good hold there from Aftermath. What is going on down here? Ah, Warrior Priest. He's looking. He didn't see that relic. Oh boy. Oh boy. These can run under the TC. He should just go under the TC. Right to the wood line. Ballistics coming in now for Valesa, and a heart has to send everything back to deal with this. And there is the castle. Leary, at risk of being completely flanked here. Completely flanked. And now the war galleys, he pulled them back, but they pathed forward first. Heart deleting the walls. Leary losing a ton of ships. This is the problem with war galleys. That they've always been clunky. Always been clunky. That's not even a new pathing thing. That's exact same thing would have happened in user patch. They, these units have been disgustingly clunky always. Leary's on the way up to him though. In my opinion, they should. Yeah, yeah, they should be. They should path even worse. You're sailing over a root system. <laughs> they shouldn't be able to path. They should be stuck.
I believe in a turtle sweep. What about the tower sweep? What about that? Guys, what about if Max just goes Siege Elephant and ships? Thoughts? Like, I'm talking Omega Siege Elephant. Patrol in. Ships have bonus for Siege. That's why you have ships of your own. Dave, dude, what is your future plan? Who the fuck are you, my parents? What, what do you mean, what is my future plan? We're in the middle of the game. No, your financial advisor? Ah, uh, true. No future plans. Yep, that's it. Ha 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 Is he doing it? He's doing it! Let's go, Max! That's what I'm talking about. That's my dude right there. Full siege elephant. Some galleons behind. How's your retirement account doing? Who wants to know? Remarkably better eco here for Finland. Like, when I say, like, better eco, I mean, like, far better. Max has double the amount of villagers as Hart. And Viles has 30 more, almost, than Leary. But Leary is an Imperial Age. He can't really afford the Galleon upgrade yet, but he does have Bracer, and they're pushing this back. How far they can push back is another question, though, as the castle is going to go up for Max over here. And without Galleon in yet, he can still kind of comfortably take this fight. Maybe help that castle go up in time. He's got Galleon on the way. Armored Elephant coming out too. Bracer on the way. And Bracer is on the way for Vilesa. And Galleon is coming in too. And Leary and Hart are finding themselves in a situation you don't want to be in. They need to retreat. To the port side. Sir, the enemy is advancing from the starboard trajectory. Are there any land units that are good on this map? Not really. Heart is fuming right now at the pathing of these war galleys around that mule cart. Absolutely fuming. And while Heart is fuming, Max is fumigating. He's getting rid of all the ships. The pesky little ships. He's retreating with the elephant. That's a good corner. Max is still not working away on these siege workshops, but he's got a siege workshop over here. <laughs> what a stupid what? <laughs> Outpost and stone wall. That's exactly what you want to see. That's it. Sicilian fleet coming in for heart, which will give his dramas. More range, and his demo's more blast radius, and he's making demos. He's making demos. Leary's gonna try and go keep. Hart is gonna try and go dramas and demos. And they're just gonna try and stay alive. Demos should be pretty good against armored elephants, and apparently ships are really good against them too. As Mahayana comes in for Max, but we see Elite Cannon Galleon on the way for Vilesa. And more castles pushing forward. Heated shot coming in. Elephants. More. We need we need docks back here, dude. We need docks here. Docks. Coinage. 
Coming in for Velessa. They're taking out the towers. Demos from Heart. Demos from Heart. We want to see it. We want to see it so badly. He's got the tech. He's getting careening. The units are stacking up. Dramans are being added. It could be the biggest boom of all time. Here they come. Finland sees it. Ships are going down. Boom! Boom! Okay, okay. Round two. Round two, Heart. Round two. We need round two, Heart. The galleys are pushing out. The Dramans are adding some damage behind this. Another castle coming up from Valesa. Castle in the south from Max. Elephants are now siege elephants. And Demo Army is being built up once more. He's massing again. Miri is still pushing. With his galleons. And the Demos are on the way. No bracer for Hearts galleys, but his galleys are all gone now. He's purely focused on the demos, and I think that might be all we see for Hearts big demo shots. He's got some dramans now, but he's lost most of his base over here, and now Max is pushing in from this angle. Max is going for another castle over here, and Leary and Hart are running out of wood on this side. They're only taking wood here, which is very, very close to the Navy from Valesa and Max. And they're going for trade. They are trading already. They're trading already. Trade cogs. Water nomad. Plenty of gold available, but Valesa is like, whatever, dude. Let's get it started. Have we seen a lot of sling yet? No. None. Dramans are just kind of working away. <gasps> Demos! Boom, 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 boom! Boom, boom! Huge shots from Hart. Massive shots from Hart. Didn't quite get the elite cannon aliens, though. And those cannon galleons are putting in work and Hart will call the GG. Leary will follow up and it looks like Valesa and Max did enough there. Trade cogs were also being added and that was a beautiful victory for them. Hart was struggling from the get-go. Valesa just winning the 1v1 there against Armenians and then Max was so far away. Leary couldn't even do anything against him. But not really the map you would expect from Aftermath, right? To take the victory. Not really. Max's eco kind of insane. Valesa's eco also kind of insane. You would expect uh, Finland to win that for sure. Goodbye, Water Nomad. Yes. Gone just on time. I like Water Nomad, but no one uses demos, so I don't like it. I like the map, but I hate the meta. Okay. Win for the Vikings. Win for the Bengalis, loss for Koreans, and loss for the Armenians.
We'll go back. Fuguru, thank you for the six months. Appreciate you. Does PM play tonight? Haha. -ha. Cap, they're still not in yet. Maybe trying to figure out what map they want to do. I don't know. Row Rage is in the game lobby right now, so. I see Dave dancing like a little girl. What's wrong with dancing like a little girl? What's wrong with dancing like a little girl? Are you depressed? Do you not find joy in things? Maybe we should put on a song for you. Maybe we should put on a song for your comeback story. This is your redemption arc. This is what Hart's listening to right now. Evanescence. Bring me to life. But I love this song. You don't love anything. That's why you're listening to Evanescence.
Still a great song? Yeah, true. Is a great song. Amazing song. They're, they had to restart the game, by the way. I'm assuming shared vision wasn't on. Or the teams weren't right or something. Minute and a half left. What can we jam out to in a minute? Oh. Ah. Minute and a half of this. <clears throat> Any 90s kids out there? Make yourself known. I think it is impossible to explain to people who weren't around how popular that song was and how prevalent that song was when it came out. It was Live in the Vida, Lo Vida Loca by Ricky Martin. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I think it was everywhere. <laughs> All right. Art playing as Kimura here on Row Rage. Leary playing as Italians. We're done our intermission, finally. And we have Japanese for the Max and Ethiopians for Vilesa. So basically the theory on this map is that you go scouts, double stable scouts in many instances from one player. And that's going to be the Japanese player over here, Max. And then you go double range archers with the other. And the only question is whether you're going to have a dock behind it or not, right? The last time Leary and Hart played here, they played Mayans and Chinese and they got smoked. They got absolutely smoked, and that was after they killed the first nine scouts from Bad Koala. They still got smoked because they didn't go for water control at all, and they only went one stable with the Chinese player. Maybe they revised their strategy. Kamur was the sieve that Bad Koala went for, and basically what he did you, was right? he made Why mills so on both of these little ponds, collected the fish with five villagers per pond, and then had a house nearby to garrison in. And that's how he could afford the double stable scout production. So we'll see if Hart goes to that same strategy. Leary will be going double range with Italians. And it doesn't look as if he's going to make a dock of his own. Maybe later. Who knows? The dock is up, though, from Max, and Japanese are going to be fishing faster. Their fishing ships will have more HP and more armor, so really difficult to take down. And Aftermath will need to do damage before this fishing eco comes into play. Leary is going to go up super quick, and so is Heart. No loom for Heart. Feudal Age already on the way, and it should be a double stable build for him. Vilesa... Has not gone for a dock at all. There's only one player on the water currently. As Max tries to get a downhill hit here against Leary, he's not going to find it. That's annoying for Max because now that scout can come back and harass the fish a little bit over on this side. Still no lumen for Max. Still no uptime for Max. It's going to be a lot later, but he will have a better eco. He will have a better economy. With the fish. And they're going to need to do damage early. Alright, so Leary is signaling this, and I don't know if he's signaling it to say, like, come out to this one. 
with your villagers? Ah, oh, they didn't see it. And Leary's saying, yeah, the pawn should be here. They never scouted it. So that's exactly where Hart's going to go. He's going to build a mill. He's going to build a house. And then he's going to go for one stable right away. But he does not have the wood. So the build is completely skewed here for Hart. It's definitely not as clean as we saw from Bad Koala. Not as practiced. Hart will go for the stable. He's just now building the mill. He won't have enough wood for that second one. And he... Oh my god. He managed to kill the villager... With that fast Feudal Age, so the Feudal Age already paying off for him. He managed to kill the villager from Valesa, and then he runs right into the TC. Valesa, not paying attention, though. Not paying attention to that. Won't be able to snipe the scout. Hey, Dave, did you know there are barcodes on the front of the Swedish battleships? They Scandinavian. If only that was the first time I've heard that joke. It would be so much funnier. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hart's pro probably going to kill another villa here. Oh, Vilesa. Oh, he's just trying to get the dock up, dude. He's just trying to get his fishing eco rolling. Hart's not going to let it happen. He's not going to let it happen. Meanwhile, Max finally in Feudal Age. Goes for a stable of his own. And remember, he does have the fishing eco behind this. It's only three ships, but it adds up. It does add up. We're looking at total res collected. Max is, is ahead right now. He's going to keep getting more and more ahead. More villagers over here from Hart. Still only one stable, though. And he's going for a mill back here. There we go. There's the second one. Doc just cancelled. He needed the wood. Doc is just cancelled from Valesa. Maybe a mistake to go for that in the first place. Max trying to wall up now at home. His barracks is forward, which is brutal. Doesn't have any spearmen back here to help him out. And has not completed the wall in time, so Hart is finding a lot of great damage. And here come the archers from Leary. And the scouts kind of feel like they need to go forward for Max. But, like, how is he going to ever defend against this? He, he can't. He's going to need to leave this wood line. Unless he gets the walls up, which is impossible now. And, yeah, Leary's coming in. Just deletes the lumber camp. He's going to leave. Leary's going to try and snipe these down. Hart is going to try and block with his scouts. They should be able to get at least two vills here. Only one vill. Good escape there from Max. Good timing on that. And Max will need to look for a safe way to secure his base. Meanwhile, over here, scouts come in. Hart, because he's Khmer, can simply hop inside the houses and be really safe over at the fish. As Vilesa makes his way over, he's going to clear the archers from Leary. Still no fletching for Leary. So good clear up here from the Finns. However, there's a lot of scouts. A lot of scouts from Hart. And Hart finding himself a really good engagement. The spears are finally here from Max, so he needs to retreat. But still, a lot of archers taken down over there. Obviously, the villagers he killed earlier. The double villagers he's killed from Vilesa. Really solid opening from Hart so far. But remember, Max still has all of these fishing ships. And it looks like he killed a villager over here on the fish too. And Vilesa, well, got double range production. He's keeping his archers defensive now. No house over here to hop inside, Hart going to lose another villager. More fishing ships coming up from Max. 
Leary and Hart know that this is an issue, but they can't do anything about it. Unless they go for like a counter docker of their own. I love the fact he's queuing up a demo. Just keep it for when those archers inevitably come through here. Don't use it against the scouts unless you find like three scouts that are stacked up. Speaking of scouts, still putting in some work. That should be a dead villager if Max is paying attention. It should be a dead vill. It should be a dead vill. That's a dead vill. And the armor is coming in. And the food is coming in hot and heavy here for Max. Look at the amount of food he has in the bank. He can even add in like two more stables if he wants to. Or he can just try and go up to Castle Age. Looks like the scouts and the archers are trying to meet up here from Hart and Leary. Bloodlines is coming in for Hart. But Vilesa does have Ethiopian archers, and the scouts and the archers are split. And Vilesa still has his scout over here, too, which is kind of big. He's focusing down the archers from Leary. It's a fairly good hold from Vilesa, and only a couple scouts from Max will make this a good defense if he sends them over. But meanwhile, Max still putting in work over here. Delaying the economy from Hearth. He hasn't hit Leary yet. Needs to maybe send, like, one scout to this side. But I think Valesa should be fine. Bunch of these archers are weak. He has buildings close by. Making some skirms. It's going to be okay. Max is about to click up. Why does Hart feel so weak in 2v2? I mean, to be fair, Hart has been the better player here. He didn't do as well as Bad Koala did. But he's done way more damage than Leary has in this uh, 2v2 game so far. Not last game, but this game he has. Leary has 19 archers. Yeah, but what, what, what has he done with them? Leary's on the way to Castle Age. Max is on the way up to Castle Age. I think just letting Max get away with this fish boom is criminal, right? But then I guess you can ask the question, what do you what do you do about it? This is an insane fish boom. Max, even if he loses 10 villagers right now, he's still gonna be ahead in eco over anyone else in the game. And he's still harassing this side. And it's just so much easier to produce scouts, or cavalry for that matter, when you've got 17 fishing ships behind. Let me see the kills. Sure. Let's see the kills. Eco Kitty, 4 and 6 for Heart. 6 and 2 for Max. Neary's killed 1 villager so far. And Heart is going to clear these scouts, or get a lot of good damage against them. Leary's in the back. But there's nothing here. <laughs> Max will just slowly shift all of his economy towards this middle area. There's golds and stones here too. He's fine with that. He's got docks. He's saving the demo. He's baiting the scouts in to the water. Good bait. Good bait. Good bait. Good. Didn't get him. Still. Drove him away. Kept his fish safe for another day. And there's still plenty of fish to take here. Second town center for Max. Leary looking for opportunities, not finding anything. And Leary will go for a TC out here on the fish to try and get more food in. As he gets the crossbow upgrade, the second wood upgrade. And yeah, Leary's in a rough position. Because he knows he needs to do damage. But there's nothing he can do because Max has responded to this really well so far. I think you just abandon this. Yeah, just pull it back. Wait for your siege to come out. Max is getting plus two armor. That can help him here. Goes for double houses. If Leary pushes in here, it's going to be a nightmare. Because then Max can come from behind. And Vilesa can come from behind. Maganel is coming out. Plus two light cav. Ready to pounce. Crossbow's now at the back. Tower is here for Max as well. Leary will find some villager kills. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh. 
and Vilesa. There's not a Ballistics. But he's going to buy Max enough time to get that TC up. Now Leary and Hart can't come in from this side. Gilnet's even coming in. A lot of fishing ships still here. Running out of fish kind of in the center. But if we take a look at the total res collected. Look at that. 3k ahead for Max. Kind of insane. Third TC now coming up from Leary. Love to see Valesa expand his eco, which he's doing. Also on stone right now. Don't think we'll see many showtails here, but could be wrong. Why does he keep doing fishing ships? He's gonna he's gonna make traps. So you can see he's already adding fish traps. He's making fishing ships because he has extra wood and he wants to keep eco units coming out. Right now, his army production is gold and food, right? So if he has extra wood, he might as well. Heart fast imp. Uh, no, I think Heart just can't keep up with the production. I don't see what imp would get him. Plus two armor is in for Heart. Max has more knights around here, but Hart with the reinforcements should be good. Pikeman now coming along from Vilesa as Hart tries to save the weak units. And Vilesa now pushing on this side with the help of that defensive Maginal that Max made earlier. And Leary is just in full defense mode. Dude, Max's fishing eco is the 100% the difference in this game. Oh, Leary, be careful. Don't stack up like this. Crop shot. Doesn't work. Drop shot. Doesn't go for it. 100% the difference in this game. The fishing eco. It's wild. The fish are almost gone. He's got a few more over here. The knights are coming in. And the risk for Max is that he won't have enough to defend against these knights. Right? He's going to have a few demos, but he's investing all this... All the resources into fish traps, and the knights might just kill those right away. However, he has gotten a lot of food out of that middle area so far. And he can defend with his own knights, too. Vilesa also on 3 TC. Hard only on 2 right now. Max needs to maybe, like, even wall this whole area off. As Hart does the right thing and targets, rather than the fishing ships, he targets the traps. Traps are a bigger investment than the ships. Knights are going to try and find their way into the base. There's an overchop back here. That's it. And Hart is starting to recover. And Leary is thinking about Imperial Age now. Hart should be able to see this. Max didn't see the overchop there. Now he does. But he attacked the house, so he let Hart know exactly what's happening. And the quick wall comes up just in time. Beautiful. Meanwhile, over here, Leary on the way up to Imperial Age. 3 TC for him. Really, really nice. Uh, going for the fish over here, and that's what gave him the food to click up. <laughs> that is the imp TC. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's safe, right? They'll never go after it. <laughs> that's crazy. That's the imp TC. Nice shot there from Max. Nice little crop shot. Do another one. Right here. Crop it. Knights vs. Knights. Hearts clearing this up. And Max is still trying to drop fishing uh, fish traps. Trying to make more fish traps. He needs to secure this area somehow though. Castle here would be big. Right? 
walls around here would take a long time. Still potential. He's going to go for a monastery and he's going to grab all of the relics in the center. And coinage is coming in for him too. As we see Imperial Age on the way for Vilesa. Similar amount of crossbows, but two minutes later to Imperial Age than Leary. However, Leary is kind of stuck in his own base. So it's going to take him time to push out here. We need to get this gold situation sorted out. Some inefficiencies in the workplace. Leary can clear the entire middle with arbs. Okay. We'll see. Remember, there's going to be the crossbows nearby from Vilesa. There's going to be some demos that Leary needs to respect. And it's kind of nerve-wracking going to the center here. With ships around and instantly demos are being queued from Max. Now, if you head straight at this army with demos, the demos are going to get sniped. Right? But if you make enough of them, some of them are going to get through. And you can tell Leary is being very cautious about this as Max tries to go for a castle over here. Demos coming in. They take out one of the Mangonels. Leary has to stay away from this dock. And the demo takes out another Mangonel. And Leary is just like, nah, 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 bro. <laughs> Not enough. That's enough for me. It was a thrilling experience. I enjoyed my stay and I'm gone. I'm out. That's a nope for me, dog. Imperial Age is in from Vilesa. Arbalist coming in. Chemistry coming in. Knights coming back over this way. Where is the main army? The crossbows are over here. He was trying to save them so he could get his upgrades. He's got a gold over here, but he's fully walled on this side. Against the potential night raids from Heart. And speaking of night raids, here we go. Knights coming in. Could clear up the Arbalist numbers. Could deny that TC from Leary. And it's going to be a distraction for sure. As Leary tries to push in here and Micro against Vilesa. It's definitely a distraction. There's a Magano coming out. Big shot from Max. Big shot with a Castle Age Magano from Max. Oh, baby. And that's 100% because he came in with the raid here. Leary was not paying attention. Meanwhile, over here, Knights are pushing in. We've got more knights from Max. Once again, the fishing eco is at risk, but there's some demos here from him that could deal with the knights. Big demo right there. More damage from this demo. Arbalist clearing up the knights back here. And the knights from Max are kind of in the back of Leary's eco. Just distracting him once again. Leary had to pull this entire army back to deal with this. And there's a castle fort from Vilesa, and he's got a ton of Arbalists. Art, 22 knights. He's trying to click up to the Imperial Age. And he's on the way up right now. Lots of farming go for him. Max still is not advancing. There's a lot of army here heart and it's only three knights for max and then you have to ask like what is max going to go into towers sick so halb arb is the play yasima towers in the center it's very unique and this is a situation Leary does not want to find himself in. Oh my god. The panic splits as you realize you're up against Ethiopian Arbalists. And there's more of them than you have. It's time to run away. Only the first armor upgrade as well for those Arbalists from Leary. Vilesa already has all of the armor upgrades for his. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Heart is coming from behind. Heart is coming from behind. Leary needs to be right there, though. Leary needs to be right there. Vilesa is going to try and micro his way out of this. He's just going to get on the hill. He's going to sit. And he's going to take out a lot of these knights. 
trying to micro down these Arbalists from behind. Leary is dancing. Wonderful job there. And the Knights just get fried because Heart was not an Imperial Age with the upgrades. It was such a great flank. But Valesa's Ethiopian Arbalist with the final armor upgrade actually managed to win that fight. That's crazy. Shows how strong they were. It was an amazing flank. It really was, but... You know, didn't work out. And here come the guard towers. Here come the infantry upgrades. Here comes the push. And Max is just going to try and focus up against the Khmer player. So Hart's going to have some really difficult times here shortly. Against Halb Tower. Because he's going into Cavalier and Light Cav. Silk Road. They're starting the trade, and Leary is already getting Silk Road. All right. Good raid back here. Max. Towers are extremely annoying. Extremely annoying. And there's towers everywhere. If they can force this into two separate 1v1s, they've completely switched sides here, which is phenomenal from Finland. Like, if they can force Ethiopians versus Italians, and then Japanese versus Khmer... I think they're laughing. I think that's super good for Finland, right? Halb Tower, extremely difficult for Khmer to deal with at this stage. Leary needs to be over here against Japanese. But then there's the towers, so the Arbalist can only advance so far. And there's no siege from AM so far. God, what a game for Max. It hasn't been flashy at all. He just gets the job done. We all know they are completely emotionless. That's not true. They're very satisfied with this outcome so far. Oh, big shots on the Arbalist potentially. Big shots! Boom! GG called from Leary. Hart can't do anything. Leary can't do anything. And the Japanese fish boom in the in the middle wins the day. Even after the denied dock, the early stuff against Valesa, he didn't have the greatest start at all. Max was much later to feudal age. He took some losses here versus Hart. But the boom from them is insane, right? All of the fish on the middle, I think there was 24 of them. We'll see it reflected in the eco for Max. And then the tower halb and switching sides was genius. Honestly, genius. I was wondering where he was going to use his halbs with the Arbalist from Leary, but he just completely switched sides. And Leary couldn't get much army over here, and it just feels kind of hopeless. So, AM have a lot of work to do. They were down 2 nothing in their last set, and they came back with the reverse sweep. Eco for Max is wild. Especially that food collected. And he even sent almost 3k over to his ally. But yeah, they were down. They had to pull off a reverse sweep last time around. See if they can do it again. It's looking unlikely. It's looking very unlikely. I think Harris traveling? I think so too. Winland? Looks like it, man. Very strong team. Very prepared. Max is a beast. Max is, like I said, he's inconsistent sometimes, but when you really get him in the zone in a team game scenario, he can be one of the most dangerous players. When Max is feeling, lit, feeling it, it feels like he's examining every angle <laughs> and creating a counter. To every unit you're going to go for. You were skeptical, but I called 3-0 way before the games even start. All right, dude. Whatever. You're smarter than me. You're more handsome. You're great. Well done. Sorry I don't call 3-0 on every set that I'm going to cast. 
Sorry, guys. Don't tune in today. It's going to be a 3 0. <laughs> no point. My first words were me calling 3 0. Like you came out of the womb, like you were born. Call the reverse sweep. I can't. Fuck you, Riley. I made I can't your call it. Wet. Bruno deployed a 24 hour infantry unit to stack sandbags around my bed. AM kind of looks like they're out of their depth here and, and just in preparation. Like you could see it there with Hart's build versus, uh, like, Hart did good damage with the early scouts, but you could see it there, like, Bad Koala went second stable right away, and he could afford the mill. Now, to be fair, I think Hart went up a little bit faster than Bad Koala, and he did get the villager from Vilesa. But still, they didn't do anything about the water stuff in the middle. Huh. I don't know. What's the decision desk saying? It's saying that they are going to be going on to Nomad. Right. Jassar? Jassar's not here, man. What are the civs looking like? Mongols probably for Leary and then Malay for Hart. Like it's the same deal as last time. And then and then we'll have Lithuanians Berbers potentially. I don't know. Because Hamburger is still in the pool, right? So, like, Persians, Lithuanians, Malians, I'll do well on Hamburger. I wonder where Britons is used. Let's see. Britons might not be used. Which civ has the best Romans? Armenians. How does this pick and ban system work? Um, for the maps, you have different categories of map, and then you can pick one from that category, ban the others, right? I th I'm pretty sure. That's why they have the different colors behind it. You see, like, all the red maps are closed maps. All the green ones are open land maps. And then we have the water maps with the blue background. And then for the um, the sieves, it's just pretty straightforward. You get two bands early. These are the first two. You see the ones I'm highlighting here? And then those are hidden, so you can reveal those afterwards. And then each team gets two picks. One pick here, one pick for the other team, one pick for that team again, and then another pick for the first team that picked. And then you ban two more sieves, which are also hidden. It's, it's kind of convoluted, but... Roughly, it goes in order, and it's a snake system. So what's with the yellow and black? Oh, those are the sieves that have been won with before. All right, still waiting for the game. The yellow and black maps? I don't know. I don't know if you have to like fully ban everything from that map pool. Maybe they just left it open. Right? 
It's probably just a different type. It's like a gold centric map. So probably Golden Lakes is in that category too. And then hamburger would be like hybrid. I, I don't even know. What does brown mean? Is poo maps? <laughs> maps that roughly look like poo. Maps that are shit. Beef cuz hamburger. Ah, true. God, I love this song. Ragwin Lannister, thank you for the six months. Free the skate, thank you for the six. Domhus, thank you for the 28. Appreciate it. Okay, spec countdown is done. Uh, let's get into Nomad here. AM needs a win, guys. AM needs a win. Max and Vilesa should be favored on Nomad. But Leary is a Leary has grown into a quite a competent Nomad player, especially in 1v1, and we might get a restart here. Nope, never mind. Not within range. And we'll see what Hart can add to this equation. Hart's going to go for a nice little TC spot here. Weird woodline over here. Glad he didn't TC that. <laughs> We've all done that one before. And he's got boars and a berry nearby. Berry bush, rather. He's going to be playing as Vietnamese. Leary will be playing as the Mongols. So with Vietnamese, they will know exactly where the town centers are from their opponents. And they can hit them. Early, and they can hit them hard. Max is playing as Malians. Alessa is playing as the Berbers, and he's so far away. However, so are the golds, and so are the stones. Really, really rough layout here for Vilesa. I'm honestly surprised he's not taking that boar with Berbers. Swami already know where AMR is, so bonus is now useless. How is it useless? They have no idea where they are. Okay, they can see one boar coming back here. So there's something around this area. And it doesn't make their bonus useless. It just means the other team can see you. They still wouldn't have known. <laughs> where they are. <laughs> Max just signaled Leary. Yeah, because he saw the boar coming in. They still have no idea where Hart is. But that boar has disappeared, so Vilesa will know that it's somewhere in the area. Okay, we've got a villager over on this side from Hart. I don't know... He's trying to lame or something. Leary's also got a villager near this area. Vilesa saw the TC border area of Hart at the start. No, bro. We don't play this with Treaty, my dude. No serious Nomad tournament plays with Treaty. I hope this tournament isn't playing with Treaty. That, that's terrible. No Madge. I don't know why they didn't lame any of this stuff. I know where the TC is. Huh. I guess Hart can take this boar in eventually. Finland just sees cubes. True. 
All right, let's look at the dog spots. We got Max over here, the stock. Got Vilesa over on the same side. So if he wants to go water, he can protect Max. Probably thinking about going FC though. And then we have Leary over here with Mongols running out of fish, unfortunately. Gonna have to relocate his dock anyway. And then Hart in the corner. Max can go for a dock over on this side if he really wants to and start contesting that fish. And Leary is now signaling this entire area. Is he saying that's clear or we need to scout this? Maybe he's saying this is clear of the enemy docks. I have no idea why he would signal there. FC Camel Archer Classic, true. It is. The problem for Vilesa is going to be stone and gold, right? This is his closest gold. This is it. As we see Hart come out here with the villager wall coming up from Vilesa. He is Berber, so he's a little bit faster. Should be able to run away. Max won't go dock there if he doesn't want. Thank you, Chemical. He has, so he did want. And good scouting from Hart to find that really early. Signaling that to Leary. Dock going up on this side. Still doesn't know where the fish eco is for Max, though. Like, Max's fish eco is so far away from his forward dock. So if Leary sends galleys over here, he's probably just going to bypass this completely. And then go to this area, and he's not going to find anything. Like, Hart only went to the dock with his fishing ship. He really should have kept that fishing ship going to spy anything else. Loom coming in for Hart. It's definitely a fast castle play for him. Working away on the sheep. Still has some Ibex to take in. And I don't know if he can find any boar. He doesn't see this one. Damn, that sucks. He does see this one, though. However, you probably want to leave that for your Mongols ally. Neri does not send the galleys down this way. So he assumes it's an aggressive dock for Max. Max will be going for galleys to snipe the fish from Hart and Leary. And he's going to send his galleys immediately over to Valesa's side to try and interrupt the fast castle attempt from our Ber Berber's player. Comment on the shapes of the gold piles. That is... Um, that's a juice box with a big straw pointing up and left. That's right. Galleys are here. But the galleys are coming in on this side too. And Leary needs to be faster with his galley defense. He's forced to send some over here to help out Hart. Hart is going to be losing fish, unfortunately. And will he have enough food to go up? He will. So, Hearts FC, not really a problem at all. He's also on stone. He can ship more villagers over to the stone. He can start mining that to go Rattan Archers. Meanwhile, Vilesa, out here taking stone, taking gold. And Hart can't see that. Oh, God, so unfortunate. That sucks. Really does suck. He's also managed to save quite a few of his fishing ships. Pretty inefficient over on this side, however. Hart manages to save a bunch of his, too. And Leary is now going for more galleys over on this side for defense. Now, Leary should be able to get a pretty sick castle age up time because he's Mongols, and you can see he's luring in this boar right here. He should be able to get a pretty sick castle age up time um, because he has the hunt bonus. So if he were to choose to bring in a boar, uh, it would be pretty awesome. But he has been towered at the front. He's been towered. And he's going to be like, man, I thought I brought in that boar. Well, you tried. 
Leary is very busy with the galley micro currently, and he's losing against Max. Look at this. Look at that micro from Max. Barely even waits on the shot. Look at that. Oh. And he micros down the Navy from Lyrian. This is not looking good for AM. This is not looking good at all, guys. Max even has a tower over here. Castle Age is in from Vilesa. Is this possible again? Apparently it is. That's like the Pike Patrol right there. And Fletching is coming in for Max. And his resources are looking pretty solid. Lyrians are looking better. However... With this castle coming up from Heart, we also have a siege workshop behind here from Vilesa. And a Mangonel, a rogue Mangonel, could do some work. Castle from Vilesa. It's kind of back here. It could be in front. This kind of protects a lot of this area. A little bit. The stone, if you go for walls on this side, definitely protects this choke point. Protects the gold as well. Could be okay. Hart still has a bunch of his fish alive. Leary still has a couple of his fish alive. He's only gone for two. Max has eight. So, big difference in safety of the fishing eco. And Max is taking full advantage of that. And he's even adding in some fish over here. Beautiful. Castle's up. Camel archers are coming out. Castle's up. Rathens are coming out. And the Mangonel is here from Vilesa. And he sees the villagers working away on the stone. I think he should wait for a second one and pop out here with two. And then he can kill all of these villagers in one shot. One fell swoop if he can afford it. Galley's still pushing in too. Leary is still preoccupied with this nonsense over here. He did get the boar. He did get that boar. It even shows the kill after it's dead. That's its legacy right there. Go for a second one. Do it. Do it. He's busy. He's trying to wall this off. Show the bay area. Okay. <gasps> Heart won't like that. Three villagers dead. He's telling Leary right now there's a Mangonel behind enemy lines. The Camel Archers have come in, but they are not super great against Rattan Archers. They do have more HP, so maybe if they get close, they can tank it. But look at the Pierce Armor on those Rathans. Even without any upgrades, it's four Pierce Armor. It's going to be really, really tough for the Camel Archers to find value there. Meanwhile, Leary pushing over here against Max. He gets to the Castle Age. Max is just 40 seconds away. And Leary will go for another town center over here to take out this tower. And the Mangonel is still, it's roaming. It's got three kills and it's looking for more. It's definitely looking for more. And these Rattans, well, not really in the best position, right? It's a, it's a good spot to harass Vilesa, but you're not going to escape from there with those guys. They're not going to be around for very long, that's for sure. Nice. Oh, she's living. Huh? Nice. Huh? Nice. Dude, this Mangonel's a menace, bro. This Mangonel's an absolute menace. Oh my god. How many villagers did he kill with that thing? Seven? Disgusting. Max will now go for a siege workshop. Looking for more stone is heart. And the Rathen archers are still pushing in. The Rathens at the top, I think, have been cleared. Or maybe those... Actually, those are the four. They did get out. Thought they weren't. But they did. As Leary still has not cleared up this tower. And he's going to do that right now. Once again, though, Finland just in a pretty good position. And 
Part is trying to chase these camels that are coming to the back of Leary's eco, and Leary needs to abandon this position, and Valesa remembers what he did over here. He weakened a lot of villagers over here. That's two dead vills. One. Two. She weak. Three. 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 Two. Maybe you should leave this boar here and just wait for Leary to lose a villager against the boar again. Forward castle from Hart. Does Max have another Manganol on the way? He does. He's going to try and out repair the damage from these Rathens, but he doesn't. So good job from Hart. He'll get the castle up. He'll have a really solid position on that hill in front of Max's base. And Max will need to go into a barracks and some military units of his own. Hart with the Rattan Archers could be able to defend this center area. And him and Liria are kind of like really consolidated here, right? Especially if they get the wall down on this side. They're going to have a lot of resources available to them. Vilesa and Max are very split. And now super split because of this castle in between them. As Max now goes into Archer Rangers. Not fantastic fight against Rattans. Miri's still trying to push over on this side. Max pushing this way with some fires. And Vilesa, well, trying to keep his fish efficient on the top, but Leary's there as well. AM in a pretty good position in terms of map control. See what Finland can do economically, though. They're still ahead in terms of villager count. 38 villagers only for Leary, by the way. 38 vills. Versus 61 from Vilesa. And then 55 from Max. And it is going to be Genitors from Max. Interesting. Okay. I was wondering. I was like, is it going to be Elite Skirm? Nope. I forgot Berbers were his teammate. My man is going Genitors to counter the rats and archers. Beautiful. And there's camel archers back here that Hart needs to be careful with. And there's also mangonels too. Where's this other mangonel? Forward. Okay. Vilesa definitely thinking about going Imperial Age. More Genitors coming in here from Max. Has to be careful about this Manganel from Leary. Is Max paying attention? Nice. Micro here from him. Leary takes out one, though. Leary, is he going to take out a second? No. Almost. So close. Meanwhile, Camel Archers come in on the wood line from Hart. Managed to snipe three villagers. Still no ballistics here for Vilesa, but he's definitely focusing on going up towards Imp. Hart doing the same thing, kind of banking golden food at the moment. <gasps> Bro, if he had a mangonel coming out of that, would have been crazy. Armor is coming in for the Genitors. Genitors are being masked up, and the Rathans are still being a nuisance back here. Does Farimba boost Genitors? No. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> you would see this Sif combo so often. <laughs> then you'd have a trash unit with what? It would be 3 plus 8. Attack. Max losing all fish, true. Nice job from Leary over here. Another castle here from Hart as well. Where are the camel archers from Vilesa? He's kept them back here. And now he's going into stable and archery range. His Imperial Age is on the way. Max? Where's the Genitor army? Where is it? There it is. Hunting down the Rattans. Doesn't have ballistics, right? Still no ballistics for 
be Alessa either. Just heart right now. God, this is so painful. The slowest clear up of all time. Okay, four castle here from Vilesa. Still doesn't have bloodlines. He's trying to buy himself enough time for that castle to go up. And the castle will go up. And the genitors are on the way to support the camel archers over on this side. So now we've got kind of a connection here between the bases of uh, Max and his teammate. And Vilesa definitely needs to shift over here because he needs gold. He needs stone. There's plenty of it available. The problem for him is going to be the fact that Heart is now in the Imperial Age. Vietnamese can only get Hoarding. They can't get Masonry. They can't get Architecture. And oh, 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 what a smart play to go for Mangonels here. Heart's going to target that Treb. Is Heart fully paying attention, though? The Treb is being repaired. And Mangonels will push the Rattans back. Nice shots. Repair is coming in on the Mangonels. More Rattans are dying. Castle. Getting wounded. Another Castle. Being tread down. Max. Five TCs. One of them's going down though. One of them is yet to be built. And the Rattans just don't seem to be killing the Trebs fast enough. Eventually they will though. As Vilesa now goes into skirmishers of his own. Why not Genitors? They're nice. They're good. Hart's playing this really well so far. Leary is playing a nice little support role here. He's going into Manganels of his own. And he's pushing this side. And Max is having a lot of problems with this push from Leary. Leary's about to go for a castle here too. Max is dead? Yeah, Max is dead soon. 69 villagers, so fairly nice economy. 86 villagers now for Leary. Leary really recovered. Really, really recovered. He was so far behind at one point. Rattans just feel really solid. And GG called from Team Finland. Aftermath takes their first win. The reverse sweep potential is still there. And I think Hart acquitted himself really well in this uh, in this game. Good job from him. Vilesa just not getting the value he needed from the Camel Archers. The Manganol raid was the most successful raid he had in the entire game. Why not Malian Knights? Because he had to deal with the Rattans earlier. So he invested his food into uh, Genitors. Rio Predictor in Shambles? Yeah. I said it. You were doubtful. I said it before it even began. Yeah, we know, dude. What else did you say? He's gone now. <laughs> He's gone real quiet ever since that uh, that win for AM dropped, right? He's been real quiet since then. All right. Hamburger is going to be the next map. 
It looks like they're just picking Finland's maps, guys. They want to be coming home on their own home map. They want to be rolling home on El Dorado. Very similar to the way they did against uh, GLHF. Do you play any musical instrument? Is mayonnaise an instrument? Uh, win for Mongols, win for Vietnamese. I play the skin flute like mother like son. Got him. Dave, play ads? All right, ads. If you got an ad, you can blame Zach, but Zach's probably in, in, Zach is inside the ad right now. Zach is inside the ad. Don't worry, Zach. You'll be back soon, dude. How is Jimbox not subbed? Jimbox is watching with no audio right now. Jimbox is gaming. Where's the 3-0 guy? He's been real quiet. Louse Mord. He's been real quiet recently. <laughs> He's here. He's back. I'm right here. He's back, dude. Just working in parallel. Ah, like a universe or? He never subs, he waits for gift subs. Oh, Jimbox is just a moocher. Okay. Sheesh. Silly Mongoose, thank you for uh, gifting a sub in parallel. Was Dave talking about me? No, no. I'm a big moocher. Oh, okay. Thank God I'm getting this hemorrhoid cream ad. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> thank God. So you interested or... You know, they say the ads are specifically targeted. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity Yo, Mongoose, thank you again, dude. It's a good gifter. All right, so welcome to Hamburger. We have Tootins for Heart. We have Malay for Leary. Vilesa playing with the Saracens. Max playing with the Lithuanians. Now, Hamburger has this one little strip of wood in the center. It doesn't look as much like a hamburger as it used to because the wood has a bigger gap on the edges. But you've got this middle island where you start, the one wood line, and then you have fish on the outside, and then all this area to go to outside here. Now, usually the strategy is get up quickly, go for towers in the center, and then one player goes for the, uh, the water control on the outside. Max thought about killing that villager, but he's like, nah, not going to do it. He's going to try and lame the boar? No. Just wandering around. Looking for damage. Hmm. Lithuanians is good here because you start with the extra food, so you can just go forward right away with all your villagers. Start chopping wood. You get the dock up really quickly. It's a great hybrid sieve. Also good tech tree options later. Saracens? Well... You can go galleys, and they have faster firing galleys. So it's going to be good on the water. And the market is insane. 
And the camels are now insane, as we saw Mr. Yo demonstrate earlier. On the other side, we have Teutons for Heart. Obviously, great tower civilization, right? Malay for Leary. Fantastic Civ for getting up really, really early to the next age. And for contesting water, too. Wonderful hybrid civilization. And now Leary is going to spot this villager, and Max just goes back. He sees the scout. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with that until I have loon. A bison, do I accept slam daddy as your lord? Do I accept slam as your lord and daddy? Sure. So you figured out your sub then, right? Leary doesn't have loom. He didn't want to take that fight. And he still doesn't want to take that fight 1v1 against the scout. And Leary doesn't want to take this fight 1v1 against the villager either because this villager now has Loom. However, Loom is coming in for Leary. He's going to delete the wall and he's going to try and stop this wall coming up from Max. And there's the scout from Heart. So they should be able to clear this villager from Max here in the Dark Age. And Max won't have that wall up in time. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff from AM. Really, really nice. Heart's going to be up first. With the Teutons, who likely get the tower down somewhere in this area and force Vilesa to move with his lumber camp. Mule cart sieves are kind of sick here. We saw, I, I think, I'm not sure if it was Georgians or Armenians attempted from one player. But you can shift the mule cart along the, the wood line without having to build new lumber camps. And once you're in Castle Age, you can go for fortified churches to secure this area. Is Vilesa on stone? No, he's not. I'm gonna come out to this gold. Would you go for harbor gaming here? Nah. Not until the super late game. Max now going to stone. Both AM players getting up at around the same time. Tower immediately from heart? Yes. And Vilesa forced to go for the wall because both of those scouts are in feudal age, right? So they're both pumped up. Can't fight that yet. The scouts are still here from Finland, except Max's is at the back of the base. So Vilesa is going to have some big issues. Eight villagers inside that tower giving it arrows. Two scouts behind attacking the villagers as they try and run away. And Vilesa needs to start chopping wood somewhere else. And he doesn't have enough wood to really go for any other buildings other than one lumber camp. And he's trying to add in galleys too. Like this is a disaster for him. Not a great start for Finland at all. It's a tower here in the center for Max. And meanwhile, galleys are coming out. There's going to be one fire galley for Max on the side. And that's it. If Leary keeps up the micro, which we know he can, he should be able to snipe down a few fish, but obviously not paying attention to this galley. We'll lose it after killing one fishing ship, and Max will be safe for the time being. Still no second lumber camp for Valesa. It's a nightmare over there. And Hart's going for a fire galley to defend himself. Leary has been pushed off. Of one of these lumber camps. He still hasn't used his stone for a counter tower. Maybe relying on heart to come over and counter tower this. Yep. That's exactly what's happening. And Max will cut this off for a time. But against the Teuton Tower. Can't really keep your towers up forever. Heart could just garrison these five. And then ask Leary to garrison five more of his. Meanwhile, galleys looping in, and they bypass the fire galley there. Beautiful. I think Max's fire galley went down forward, so Max will lose his fish too. But Vilesa should be in a position to kill all four fishing ships here from Heart. And then finally that scout goes down. The pesky scout. <laughs> and the market is going up from Vilesa. Transport ships have more carry capacity for Saracens, which isn't something you normally think about, right? But it could be really useful here. And that's what he's going for. So that's another, like, complimentary bonus. 
that really isn't seen utilized too much. If he wants to go for a safe wood line, he could potentially. As Leary will see this dock and then bypass it completely, trying to get the fish from Vilesa. Eco KD. Uh, it's going to look pretty good for Leary, I think. Yeah, 6 0. Oh. Hard has lost four, and those are all his fishing ships. Now the transport ship is over here. And why on earth are you leading that fire galley to your transport ship? Okay, he's leading it away. Why? He didn't see it. At no point did he see that. That's crazy, dude. That is wild. He still doesn't know. He does now for a time. He knows that Valesa has made it off and now Valesa is trying to kill the fishing ships from Leary here. And he's going to get it. Yep. Nice. Good raid. Already killed the fishing ships from Heart. Meanwhile, woodline in the center. Max still getting wood. Still getting wood over here. And Valesa, if he wants to, he can offer to transport his ally over. What's Leary's economy looking like right now? Leary's about to click up. That'll be dangerous. Especially if he goes to stone, which he might. If he goes to stone, could be problematic, right? Because then you have a castle securing this area. You got Karambits coming in. Castle Age is on the way for Vilesa. And he really used the market to do that. And he's transporting so many villagers over early. That's really, really nice. Max has gone for his own transport ship. Max is already over here. Did the Japanese get used already? Yeah, Max steamrolled with Japanese in Bro Rage. They've already been used. Lear is looking. He's looking for the transports. He's looking for the transports. He's going to find them, but you haven't stopped the migration from happening. Vilesa already has 15 villagers over here. Max already has eight villagers over here. And they're going for outposts. So they're going to be able to track when Leary inevitably transports over. Leary's on the way to Castle H. Tower denied on this side for Max. And Hart still playing towers in the center. So full control over the middle wood lines. Really comfortable here on this center area for AM. Transports are both dead. For Finland, by the way. Castle Age is in from Leary. Castle Age comes in from Vilesa. We would expect a town center somewhere around here when he has the stone. He's going for more galleys, and he's going to try and secure the water on this side. As Max still tries to get exploration, he needs to find out where Leary is going. And there's the TC. On the edge of the map. But it's fine because it's out of range of the water. Right? You can't make it right here. Because then it, if they take control of the water, they just kill your TC. So they will have an excellent view off the edge of the earth. That is the Flat Earth Society HQ right there. Confirmed. Exactly. Aha. Max has found it. He's discovered this. What is the plan? What does he go for? Is it a siege workshop forward? We don't know. How could we know? It's. It might be a castle. It might be a castle forward. He's on stone. He's got a lot of villagers here. It might be a castle here, honestly. I don't know. There's still a lot of eco around from Vilesa and Max. Vilesa also has a ton of vills on stone, but I think he's just going to sell that for gold because he gets really good prices. And he's currently running around with these galleys trying to look for fish. <laughs> and there are fish! And there's transport ships as well. Leary has to notify Hart 
that these galleys are around here because if, if, if Hart loads in this transport and then gets it killed, it's going to be really, really annoying for him. Leary is actually signaling right now. He's saying, listen, the galley is going to be here soon. So make sure you move. Good teammate, Leary. Another TC on the edge of the map. Beautiful. I like it. Good TCs there from Vilesa. Really thinking about the worst case scenario. Fishing ships going down. Some of them at least. But lots of Navy around from Leary to stop this. You see, close to the edge of the map for Max. And he's going into coinage. Interesting. Still hasn't done anything over here. And you can see Leary already gathering this relic. So, is it going to be a full sling into something? What is the plan here? What is the plan? Double stable. For Max. And the monk from Leary is stopping this villager from walling. So the plan is already potentially in shambles. Camamel? Camelels? Maybe Camelels. We saw how strong they were. I mean, yo, really showing us what they could do earlier. My man needs the wall up. He needs the wall up now. He's trying to stop the monk. Leary sees it. He's got war galleys over here. The wall's going to go up, but the villager is behind enemy lines. And there's nothing Max can do about that right now. Very limited eco. Elessa, 58 villagers. But look at Leary. He's at 64 right now. And the knights are in. And he's going to have to wall himself into the edge. Literally walling himself against the edge of the map. Brutal. At least it's kind of hard for Hart to do any damage. <laughs> oh, man. Rough situation here. Look at Leary's score. It's so much, it's so much better. Zero military. Yep. Max is now sending gold to Velissa. He's sending stone to him. University coming up from Velessa, and he's probably going to buy food to try and go up to Imp. The only question is, what are you wh what are you getting with Imperial Age? Is it going to be a water control angle? That's the only thing I can really think of. There's also, they've chopped through in the center, so the knights can come from this angle. And all of this eco is exposed here. Buying food and he's up. For what? Castle? You're going to need a castle here too. That's all your economy. You're going to need a castle here as well. Max, you're going to need some walls. Hart's doing the right thing and adding in a ton of fishing ships. 16 fishing ships behind this. Gilnet's coming in. He's providing pressure with the knights. And you can see villagers dying over here. It's just not enough from Finland. There's nothing, actually. There's definitely not enough, but there's nothing at all. This castle might be to get docks up. It's the only thing I can see. Yeah, the docks are going up right here. Castle is going up from Vilesa. He's trying to wall off these knights. The castle will go up anyway. But I think Hart can just sit under this area without murder holes. Vilesa is going to struggle. And Hart will continue building. He will lose his few villagers along the way, but... One Mamluk is not going to be enough to deny this castle. Pure Age is on the way for Leary, too. And look at this. Haha. -ha. <laughs> nice sling, Max. 
Nice sling. It seems, sir, it appears to be over. It appears to be amazingly Jover right now. As Leary will get to Imp even before Vilesa. Max is sending all the food, all the gold that he has for one Treb and three galleys. The war galley research isn't even complete yet. And the Karambits are trying to get in. Max is uh, huddling over here on the edge of the map. And it's a tower and a lumber camp. He still has eco over here. He's still got 59 villagers. So that's something, I suppose. But Leary has an insane eco. And he's going to find this. Big tower there from Max. And it's tied 2-2. And once again, AM. They didn't do any themselves any favors in the first two games. Going down 2-0. Uh, just like they did against GLHF. But they've managed to pull it back. 3-0 guy is still extremely quiet. Good KD for Leary. Great eco for Leary. Phenomenal economy there for him. He got up to Castle Age and he immediately expanded his eco. And we just have to wonder, like, we have to wonder about the strategy there on their home map, Vilesa and uh, Max. Hmm. Hmm. I think Max should have Castle dropped over here. Maybe. Right, Leary did push out here really early, but still. Max was on stone. I think he needed to do something against Leary's expansion. Because Leary's eco was kind of nutty. Hart did a really good job in the center there with the towers as well. Like, Leary, at no point did Leary really have to worry about his woodline being cut off for, like, a couple seconds there, and that's it. Hart was always there with the towers, so good teamwork there from both of them. And once again, game five. Coming up soon. Like the NBA, rigged to go to the decider? I mean, maybe. Hmm. What's the final what's the final map? El Dorado? Alright. You all, your lives are so sad. I get a charity. Mongoose, thank you. Just for hanging out with you. Game five hype.
What shaped your music taste the most? I don't know. Family, friends, everything, I guess. I don't know. Probably my best friend did. Probably. But I, I also, I think it was a mutual thing. We both liked the, the same type of music, but we always introduced each other to new, uh, to new genres or new songs and bands and whatever. And he's like a music savant. Like he can tell you when a band released a song, he can tell any song by like the first two notes. Like he knows like album names, artist names, like literally everything. It's crazy. We've done music trivia with him before. He never gets an answer wrong. It feels like it's crazy. Sounds like me. Maybe. All right, here we go. Game five AM coming back from the two Oh, and they're going to be playing Portuguese and Mayans, and we're going to see Britons over here for Vilesa, and we're going to see Max with the Persians. I wonder about the Britons. Persians, very popular Civ here, right? Good Civ. Britons? I don't know. I don't know. Also, I have to wonder about the Mayans, too. You had Romans available, but Lyria is going to go for Mayans here. Portuguese should be really, really strong on the water, right? They have more HP on their ships. They pay less gold as well. Is there berries on this map? I guess you can't even get double value from the berries because there's literally no berries here. And, well... Should be archers on both sides, Leary and Vilesa. And then it should be Navy and maybe scouts for Hart and Max. This feels like a fair Civ matchup. Yeah. Britons and Mayans are kind of very similar. I think it would give the slight edge there to Mayans. Persians and Portuguese. Not really similar Civs, but similar in what they're going to do early. The Portuguese extra HP really helps, but the Persians should have a better start than them. As we see Leary signaling this. So he's saying their docks are going to be on this side, or maybe you can sneak a villager and dock this side. Max has wisely walled in the villager over here, which is nice. Valesa has done the same thing, and he's trying to push in the deer. The eagle being over here means that Leary will not be pushing in deer. But he will get more value out of his resources because they're lasting longer for the Mayans. So all these deep fish and whatever. We'll carry him through. You're all in on AM? All right. Believe. Believe in their power. Feudal Age going to be a little bit faster here for Leary. Does have an additional villager because of the Mayans. And it's actually the same speed as Max, but that's only because Max is Persians. And he gets 5% faster researching on Feudal Age. Vilesa is appropriately behind. 25 seconds behind. Okay. Doubled on the Dock Villager. So maybe the signals from Leary before was, let's prevent the expansion of the docks from Max. We'll attack this, and then I'll patrol along, and I'll look for more villagers trying to build docks in this area. Meanwhile, Vilesa is coming over to this side, but Leary has two vils. So he can't really take the fight there with the scout. And Max doing the same thing. They're all scouting for that secondary dock. Placement. They're all trying to find a villager that's exposed that they can pick off and delay as much as they can. Barracks for both Leary and for Vilesa. And won't be surprised to see the archer range come up. Right. Bop. There it is. Scout roaming around. He's going to be in feudal age shortly, but there is two villagers here, and there's a barracks that might be bank experiment, so maybe not worth it to engage there. It is worth it to do this, though. 
Look at Leary go. Being super annoying, Vilesa just walks right past and puts the archer range where he wanted it anyway. And it's a stable for Max. And a stable for Hart as well. So they're not full committing on the water. They're going to make some fire galleys. And then we even have a fishing ship queued behind this for Max. So he's got to be careful because the fire galley from Hart will win the 1v1. It has more HP. It has 10 more HP. It will win that 1v1 against his own fire. And he's not on gold, so he can't make a secondary fire galley. Max is also housed, which is pretty brutal. And he's going to try and find his way in here with the scouts. The wall is not done yet from Hart. Why is there such a gap? <laughs> And Hart actually might be able to save this vill. Yep. A couple mix misclicks there from uh, Max. And Hart is able to save it for the time being. Max will need to retreat. On the other side, Hart is over at Vilesa's base. As Vilesa will make spearmen and archers. And Leary is heading on over right now. Fire Galley going forward from Max is going to run into the Fire Galley from Hart. You see 10 extra HP. He needs to be careful about that one. And Max has three more scouts in the queue. In addition to the five he already has on the field. As he comes back around towards Leary's base. And Leary is going pretty heavy Fire Galley production of his own. Double dock. Three Fire Galleys in the queue. So while Vilesa is winning this first engagement. He's going to have to be really careful. He is committing a lot more into the land production than Leary is. Leary is committing onto water currently. And with Hart's help, they're applying a lot of pressure forward onto this side of Valessa's base. Max still running around the scouts trying to find any value that he can. Important to note for anyone that's not uh, familiar with this map, everyone can see this middle area. So they can track the army movements there for Max. As Max is trying to full stonewall his base. And the fire galleys have found their way to the fish. From Vilesa. He's going to run away. He should have more archers on land, though. And he's got six. Leary has three. Max has more scouts than Hart has right now. But Hart has been adding in more fishing ships. Max has been at eight. Okay, that's solid. For a little while now. Really tense situation. Let's take a look at the res. Leary is, as he usually is, the first player most likely to be clicking up to Castle Age here. Banking the food, banking the gold. Has the fishing eco behind, still bringing in the food. And has his fires pushing in from this side. Heavy feudal investment here from Max. Bloodlines coming in. Forging coming in. Is there a way into Leary's base? There is, but it's all the way up here. So if they want to break in, they're going to have to do it at the houses here. They can't really come through this side. Or they'll have to loop around to this side where Leary already has army. Deadville. Nice job. Also good defense over here for Max. He finds the fire galleys there from Leary, and he's going to be able to clear those up. That's just a spearman, if you're wondering. And now they're pushing away at the house, but Leary is on the way to the castle age. And uh-oh, they're going to be in. And these scouts have bloodlines. These scouts have armor. And there's not a whole lot near that TC to garrison. It's just going to be the archers here. Leary will lose another villager. Leary might be in trouble. If they loop in this way and come at his gold from this side, could be problematic. They just need to stay away from that TC. 
And Hart is on the way with some scouts. They are not as upgraded as Max's scouts are currently. Max is also adding in a ton of fish behind. As he tries to clear all this stuff. Yay. From Leary and Hart. Speaking of... Hart is here with fire galleys. Max's fish... Might die as soon as they come out. And Valesta's fish are not even working here at all. Uh, we need to work together, guys. Team! Valesta signaling. Max going back with some scouts. Hart not taking the full engagement. And Leary is still nine seconds away from the castle age. Valesta is not up yet, but he has 21 archers. Can they do damage against Hart is the question now. Hart is 40 seconds away. Vilesa just now clicks up. Team Wall from Finland is almost complete. They just need to wall to the edge of the map over here and they're fine. And most of it is stone walls, house walls, right? Lots of protection here for Finland. And there's a hole. Oh boy. Max engages against the Spearman early, gets them out of the way, and he's into the eco from Hart. Hart is now in Castle Age. He can go for Knights. But this is a headache he did not need. Spearman has an opportunity to get a ton of kills over here. Max is trying to target that. He's trying to kill the villagers as well. The Spearman seems confused. And Hart is taking a lot of damage. Bunch of villagers go down to these super weak scouts. And he has to send his first knights back here to try and deal with this. At the meantime, he is killing villagers though. Or not villagers, sorry, fishing ships at the back. He's killed five fishing ships with these. And he'll probably take out a six here pretty sh pretty soon. Leary also doing damage. Two bills down. Lessa, a lot of archers. Still 30 seconds away from Castle Age. He's going on to stone now. He's completing this with stone walls. He has not completed this. So it is still open over there, but I don't think Leary's going to go over to that side. Meanwhile, scouts trying to get in. Very weak scouts as Leary now stretches out to that center area with the first town center in the middle. Got it. Damn, dude. Solid game so far. AM is a little bit ahead on Eco. They've had uninterrupted fishing economy this entire time. Good demo raft there for Max. Vilesa waiting for his upgrades to come in. He has more range with the archers. Should make a dock here and go demos. <laughs> and now he's got crossbow and bodkin. And Leary has the backup. Max waiting for War Galley. He can clear these ships, though, with his own fires. And demo. Probably wants to demo this. He probably wants to save as many fish as he can, right? He needs to keep those alive. Meanwhile, what is he doing on land? Double stable. Still has these scouts that are extremely weak. And Britain crossbows are pretty devastating. This is a really ugly setup for Finland. Like, if you look at the way they're going to come out of the, their walls, they have this wood line in between them in the middle. I guess AM still kind of has wood lines like that, but that one's a very long, annoying wood line to have sitting there, blocking your way to the center. Still good water pressure at all times from AM. Really solid stuff. Only three fishing ships here from Finland. So they can see all the army movements here. And this is going to be a, a really ugly position for Leary to fight against Britain crossbows because they have that extra one range. And Vilesa is taking full advantage of that currently. 
Like, as long as he's paying attention, Leary should okay. never really be able to approach here. Plus two armor is coming in for Hart. I bet your Hart's going to try and trap him. Flank him somehow. Going to be very difficult, though, because they can see the flank coming from literally a mile away. They can track all of his upgrades. They know where all of his knights are. But at the same time, Leary and Hart can see exactly how weak this army is from Max. Interesting setup here. Valesa is trying to go for the comfiest TC you've ever seen in the middle of all those stones and golds. And now Leary is getting aggressive and pushing in. He already has ballistics. Valesa does not have ballistics. Also, mines can get thumb ring. Brits cannot. Uh oh. Not the situation you want to be in. You want to take full advantage of that Britain range. And Jalesa takes that initial fight. Maybe goes a little bit too far forward. He's still alive, though, with some army. 31 crossbows versus 40 from Leary. Not having ballistics is really hurting here. Really hurting. And there's the castle from Leary. I think AMF done this, guys. I think they've pulled off the reverse sweep. I think 3-0 guy right now is in shambles. Crazy setup for them. Leary and Hart, what a recovery once again. So the question is, like, can they win a set without going down 2-0? Good little multi-group micro here from Vilesa, but the GG comes in and AM once again reverse sweeping a very strong finish team here. And AM will go through and face up against an even stronger team. 200 kg. Yo and Vivi, well done there. I think Max and Vilesa played really well, but we saw AM... Coming out on top on both Nomad and uh, Hamburger, two of Finland's home maps. Pretty brutal situation for them. And then they have it coming home on El Dorado, where they obviously feel very, very comfortable. 3-2 result there. Beautiful water pressure from both uh, Hart and Leary. And they were able to take advantage of the fact that they had free fishing the entire time. Damn, dude. Let's go. Where's all the where's all the heart haters that were here when it was when it was 2 0? Where are you? I saw you. I saw I thought he played pretty well. I saw you here. Where's all the where is Hera people? Where are they? They ain't anywhere. He deserves the win. Same with Leary. Great fight from both of them. Good fight from Finland. Love to see that team uh, do well. And they made it to the quarterfinals. So that's a pretty good result. Losing to AM once again. Has Hera played any games? I can't remember. He might have played earlier. I don't know. Who is Hera? Everyone busy asking, where is Hera? No one asking, how is Hera? Uh, 